So let's solve some problems related to direction cosines and direction ratios. Direction cosines of a line equally inclined to the coordinate axis. Okay. So remember we know cos alpha is equal to L. Cos beta is equal to M. And cos gamma is equal to N. Now here L is equal to uh, M is equal to um, N. We also know L square plus M square plus N square is equal to 1. So let's do the substitutions. Here M square and L, M and N are equal. So L plus L square plus L square is equal to 1. Which is... 3L square is equal to 1, which implies L square is equal to 1 by 3, which implies L is equal to plus or minus 1 by root 3. So, direction cosines are plus or minus 1 by root 3, plus or minus 1 by root 3, and plus or minus 1 by root 3. Let's do the second one. Uh, direction ratios of a line are 6, 2 and 3. What we have to do is find the direction cosines. Now we know uh, direction cosine, cosines are a by square root of a square plus b square plus c square. Similarly, b by square root of a square plus b square plus c square and c by square root of a square plus b square plus c square. So, which implies and we know the, the ABC. So, 6 by square root of 6 square plus 2 square plus 3 square. 2 by square root of 6 square plus 2 square plus 3 square. And 3 by square root of 6 square plus 2 square plus 3 square. So that means 6 by square root of 6, 6, 36 plus 4, 40, 40 plus 9, 49. 2 by square root of 49. 3 by square root of 49, which means 6 by 7, 2 by 7, and 3 by 7 are the direction cosines of a line with direction ratios of 6, 2, and 3. Okay, let's do the third one. Now, Position vectors of two points are, let's say, OP, 4I is plus 3J minus 5K and OQ is equal to minus 2I plus J minus 8K. We have to figure out the direction cosines of the line joining P and Q. Okay, so first we have to figure out PQ. So PQ is equal to OQ minus OP. Yes, pretty straightforward. So we know what is OP, what is OQ. So minus 2 minus 4, that is minus 6i plus j, j minus 3j is minus 2j minus 8k minus minus 5k that is minus 8 plus 5k is 3k okay now what is the magnitude that is what is the length of this vector that would be 6 square 36 plus 2 square is 4 plus 3 square is 9 which would be 36 plus 4 40 40 plus 9 is 49 which is 7 okay so therefore unit vector along pq would be minus 6 by 7 i minus 2 by 7 j minus 3 
k by 7 so which means the direction cosines are minus 6 by 7 minus 2 by 7 and minus 3 by 7 okay now next one fourth we have to find the direction cosines of the line joining to minus 3 6 and 3 minus 1 minus 6 so let us say p is equal to 2 3 minus 3 6 and q is equal to 3 minus 1 minus 6 okay now direction ratio would be 3 minus 2 minus 1 plus 3 minus 6 minus 6 which would be 1 2 and 0 no minus 12 the direction cosines would be remember this would be a by square root of a square plus b square plus c square so which means 1 square square root of 1 square plus 2 square plus 12 square uh, because of the square the minus would actually get become positive so we will leave it as it is and this would be 2 by square root of 1 square plus 2 square plus 12 square and this would be minus 12 by square root of 1 square plus 2 square plus 12 square now it's just a question of simplifying it 1 by 1 square is 1 plus 4 5 144 plus 5 is 149 comma 2 by square root of 149 and minus 12 by 149 okay so that is that now let's do the next problem now let's say alpha beta gamma are the angles formed by a line uh, with respect to x y and z axis okay show that one sine square alpha plus sine square beta plus sine square gamma is equal to 2 and second is cos 2 alpha plus cos 2 beta plus cos 2 gamma plus 1 is equal to 0 okay now here you need to remember the identities trigonometric identities then it becomes very easy okay so one dc's direction cosines of the line are l is equal to cos alpha m is equal to cos beta and n is equal to cos gamma now we know l square plus m square plus n square is equal to 1 so therefore cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equal to 1 okay now here in the, in the first case if you remember uh, we have uh, the what we have to show is in terms of sine so let's write it in terms of sine so 1 minus sine square alpha plus 1 minus sine square beta plus 1 minus sine square gamma is equal to 1 okay so this becomes 3 minus let's take minus out sine square alpha plus sine square beta plus sine square gamma is equal to 1 let's take minus 3 to the other side and this becomes minus 2 minus and minus gets cancelled and we are left with sine square alpha plus sine square beta plus sine square gamma is equal to 2 which is what we had to show now let's take the second one and the second one is cos 2 alpha plus cos 2 beta plus cos 2 gamma 
plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay? Now, again, we need to know the identity, trigonometric identity. So, cos 2 theta is 2 cos, let me write it down, cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1. So, using this identity, let us write this. So, cos 2 cos square alpha minus 1 plus 2 cos square beta minus 1 plus 2 cos square gamma minus 1, right? We are looking at only this part, okay? So, this becomes uh, 2 times cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma, right? Minus 3. Now, remember cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is nothing but L square plus M square plus N square, which is equal to 1. So, minus 3. So, this becomes 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 1. Now, let us put it back into the main equation. Uh, we have minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0, which is equal to the right hand side. Okay. Next one. A line makes angles alpha is equal to 45 degree x axis with respect to the x axis. Beta is equal to 60 degree y axis. Now, naturally, we have to figure out what the angle is with respect to z axis and also find the direction cosines. Okay. We know L is equal to cos alpha, M is equal to cos beta and let us say N is equal to cos gamma. We also know L square plus M square plus N square is equal to 1. So, let us do the substitutions. L is cos square, L square is cos square, alpha is 45 degree plus cos square beta, beta is 60 degree plus N square is equal to 1. Cos 45 is 1 by root 2 square, cos 60 is 1 by 2, N square is equal to 1. So, this becomes 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus n square equal to 1. This becomes 3 by 4. Let us take it to the other side. It becomes 1 minus 3 by 4, which is equal to uh, 1 by 4. Or n is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 by 4, which is equal to plus or minus 1 by 2. Okay. So, therefore, cos gamma is equal to 1 by 2 plus or minus which implies gamma is equal to cos inverse of plus or minus 1 by 2 which means gamma is equal to 60 degree or 120 degree. So, therefore, the direction cosines are 1 by root 2 1 by 2, 1 by 2 or 1 by root 2, 1 by 2 minus 1 by k. Seventh one, find the DCs and DRs, direction cosines and direction ratios of 3 minus 1 to 2. So, let P is equal to 3 minus 1 to 2. That means the position vector OP is equal to 3i minus j plus 2k. So, DRs, so DRs direction ratios of OP is equal to 3 minus 1 to Now, magnitude of OP is equal to square root of 3 square 9 1 plus 4 which is equal to 9 plus 1, 10 plus 4, 14. So, direction cosines are going to be 
थ्री बाई स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर्टीन माइनस वन बाई स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर्टीन टू बाई स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर्टीन ओके लेट्स लुक एट दट एट वन डायरेक्शन को जाइंस ऑफ टू लाइंस सेटिस्फाई द इक्वेशंस एल प्लस एम प्लस एन इक्वल टू जीरो टू एल एम प्लस टू एल एन माइनस एम एन इक्वल टू जीरो ओके नाउ वी नीड टू सॉल्व दिस नाउ लेट्स टेक द टॉप वन बिकॉज़ दैट इज़ द सिंपलर वन and say n is equal to minus l plus m and let's substitute this into the other equation so 2 ln plus 2 l now n is minus l minus m minus m times again minus l minus n now m Is equal to zero. So two l m plus minus two l square minus two l m plus l m plus m square is equal to zero. Two l m minus two l m cancels out, and we can write this as m square plus l m. Minus two l square equal to zero. Now we should be in a position to factorize this. Now how do we factorize this? Now uh, let's put it in the proper order where l comes first, so that l m n n may we have become used to that. So let's multiply the entire thing by minus one. So this becomes two l square minus l m. Minus m square is equal to zero. Now this can be written as 2l square minus 2lm plus lm. If we do this, we get back this minus m square equal to zero. So now let's group this together and this together. So this becomes 2l is common. Um, so L minus m plus uh, m is common. L minus m equal to zero. So this becomes 2l plus m times l minus m equal to zero, and we get two solutions: 2 plus 2l plus m equal to zero, or l minus m equal to zero. 2l equal to minus m. L is equal to m, so we get two solutions, which means that we have to take two different paths. One in this using this, and the other using this, which will give us two different uh, lines. Okay, so let's say this is line one. Remember, we said n is equal to minus l plus m. Now here, if we take Uh, if we substitute, because we have, now we have a relationship between L and M because of this. So what we can do is um, take this. Let me actually do it. 2L is equal to minus M. So which means L is equal to my minus M by 2. Here we make it L by 1. Since we don't want a minus sign here in the top. we want them to be l m and n right so that's why i'm taking minus now so which means we get a ratio right which we can represent it using some letter so which means what l is equal to mu m is equal to minus 2 mu and now we substitute it back so n is equal to minus l is mu and this is 2 mu which is equal to which is equal to right so or what we can do is we can write it as n by 1 so that means we get this also as a ratio right so therefore 
we can write L by M1 is equal to M by minus 2, which is equal to N by 1, right? Now, if we take the other solution, in this case, what happens? We get the line 2. Again, we use the same procedure. N is equal to minus L plus M. We have the ratio. We can say L by 1 is equal to M by 1. So, do the substitutions minus, let's say this is equal to lambda. So, L is equal to 1 lambda. M is equal to lambda. So, this becomes minus 2 lambda and we can write lambda is equal to n by minus 2. Therefore, we can write L by 1 is equal to M by 1 is equal to n by minus 2. So, so direction ratios of line 1 are 1 minus 2, 1. Direction ratios of line 2 are 1 comma 1 comma minus 2. Now, what about direction cosines of line 1 are remember 1 by 1 square plus 2 square plus 1 square. 1 square is 1 minus 2 square is 4 1 plus 4 is 5 plus 1 6 so square root of 6 minus 2 root 6. 1 by root 6. Similarly, direction cosines of line 2 are 1 by, what about this in this case, uh, 1 plus 1, 2 plus 4, 6. So, again square root of 6. 1 by root 6 minus 2 by root 6. So, you have to be careful here. Okay. That's it for now. Bye.